ladies, how long do you research a new handbag before you make that purchase? A new survey shows roughly four in 10 women start thinking about a bag more than a month before buying, but as a result, feel more satisfied with their purchase. Here with the story is WSJ senior style reporter, Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth, welcome. Hi, Tanya. So how much research are women typically doing into handbags these also, days? Also, I don't know about you, but handbags are a big deal to me and to a lot of other women, and so they put a lot of thought into their purchase. So they'll spend a month or longer researching online, they'll visit the bag in the store, they'll really think about it, and then when they buy it, they're really proud of their purchase because of all the work that went into it's it. It's definitely one of the bigger and more expensive purchases, and it's the thing that you use almost every day, so you want it to be practical. You expect a lot out you of it. Do. You do. You can't just do. be fashionable, right? It Absolutely. has to actually carry your stuff. And a lot of women don't trade out their bag every day, and so they they need it to match all of their different outfits and their different occasions, and so it's a big, it's a well thought out purchase. Is all of this good for the handbag industry? Is it resulting in more sales? Well, it's it's one of those things that you have to kind of be careful with, right? Because you want to lure the shopper into an impulse purchase, if right. you can, if you're the retailer, right? But if you're the shopper and you're thinking, hey, I'm not just going to buy stuff to buy it, it's a win for them, right? They're thinking about it more and they're happier as a result of it. Handbag sales are doing pretty well. Apparel sales overall are sort of struggling, frankly. Department stores are sort of struggling, and so mm -hmm. handbags are a very fun thing, too, to think about. It's not like people are spending a month and being like, oh my gosh, this is so much work. Absolutely. They're saying this is really fun. I don't have to worry about sizes or fitting rooms or any of that kind of hassle. I can just go and think about this fun purchase that I'm going to make, and I can think about it for I a I don't have time. to worry about losing weight before I no, can carry exactly. your handbag. So is there a lesson here for the larger retail industry? Because like you said, it's not a huge bright spot, but it's a brighter spot than the rest of the retail industry. Yes, and so I think the retailers need to know that people are spending a lot of time before they show up in the store. They're researching a lot, and they're not doing it just to do like a quick hit, that they're spending a lot of time. So perhaps make more detailed e-commerce sites, add more pictures, do more things to kind of entice the shopper into the store, and then they can sort of look at the broader selection and help them do their research right on your site or yes. in your store. Now, what are some of the trends that are mer emerging in handbags well, right I now? I find this so interesting, right? Because I write a lot about athleisure, which is sort of the <laughs> a little bit of everywhere. And so totes are kind of taking over. People want more casual bag styles instead of sort of a more formal satchel because they want to be able to take it to the work, take it to their office, and then take it to the gym kind of thing. Is the crossbody still big? Super popular because it keeps you hands-free so you can text and snap. <laughs> take those selfies. <laughs> oh now, what about the super high-end name brand luxury bag. Is that as popular as it once was? You know, it's not, according to this study, and I find that really interesting. People want to feel like they found something new and different. They want something unique, something their friends don't have, and so logos and things like that, they're just not as popular, and people aren't willing to sort of shell out the big bucks for that premium Chanel bag. You know, there's still definitely a market for that, but there's a lot of people that are really interested in finding new designers. So Mansur Gabrielle, they won the Accessories Designer of the Year Award last night at the CFDA Awards. They're a big brand that you know their bags sort of trade in the five hundred to a thousand dollar range, and that's a really popular. That's a, that's a achievable spot for many shoppers. Right, people can put their money away and actually achieve that bag as opposed to a twenty thousand know, dollar yeah. Chanel bag or whatever they are these we days. We can not like look at exactly <laughs> far. We can window shop for them. Yes, Elizabeth Holmes, thank you so much for that. Okay.